Why the Possum Has a Large Grin Some time passed, there was one long, long, very long dry season north of Lake Pontchartrain in Louisiana. It was so dry that all of the bayous and lakes looked like the back of an alligator. Now that's dry. Food was some kind of scarce, and the animals were having fits trying to find enough to eat. It was there in the forest that the deer, thin and hungry, came upon the possum, who was smacking his wet lips together and rubbing his full belly. Deer asked, How are you so plump, possum, when I can't find any food to eat? Possum looked at the tasty persimmon fruit hanging from the tree branches. Ha, 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 said possum with a sly smirk on his face. Wouldn't you like to know? You see, ever since time began, the possum has enjoyed a reputation of being a little trickster. As cute as he is, he's not always one to be trusted. And, to make matters worse, possum is some kind of lazy in the daytime and looks for any reason to get out of work so that he can take a nice, cozy nap. Possum could easily climb the tree to get some persimmons for the poor little deer, but the mere idea of that long climb to help another soul just tired him out completely. Right then and there, Possum hatched a plan that would change the course of history forever. Smelling the sweet fruit, deer said, Please help me, Possum. I'm very hungry. Hmm, said Possum, followed by a hiss. Okay, just this once, I'll help you. But you have to do everything I say just as I say it. Deer agreed. Possum said, it's really very simple. All you have to do is go to the top of that there hill and running down as swiftly as those bony legs can carry you, hit this here persimmon tree so hard with your head that all of the ripe persimmons fall to the ground with ease. Once the persimmons are on the ground, you can eat and eat and eat until you can eat no more. But you have to do everything I say just as I say it. That is easy indeed, answered Deer. But won't it hurt if I hit my head on a tree? It would hurt a small possum like me if I hit my head on a tree. But you, so big and strong, you won't even feel it. But don't listen to me. I'll just eat this last persimmon and go to sleep while you go hungry. I'll do it, said Deer. Suit yourself, but you have to do everything I say just as I say it. Deer agreed. Possum grinned, watched, and waited. Deer went to the top of the hill just as Possum had instructed, turned, and ran quickly down, striking the tree with such force that two knots appeared on his head. Sure enough, ripe persimmons fell from the tree and littered the ground. When Possum saw the knots on the deer's head, he laughed and laughed. <laughs> well, 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 Ma, oh Ma, if that don't beat all, you did everything I said just as I said. Said it, and those bumps on your head are the funniest thing I have ever seen, declared Possum. Possum rolled and rolled around in the grass, laughing at the deer. (laughs) He laughed so hard that he stretched his mouth in a grin forever. Possum then picked up as many persimmons as his pouch could carry and left the deer to rub his aching head. 
As the years passed, the two knots on the deer's head turned into horns. And to this day, that is why the deer has antlers and why the possum has a large grin.